In this video segment, we will cover logging into the Glowcom Integrated Desktop Application and review the features of the top portion of the Glowcom Toolbar. Just a quick note before we start, Glowcom can operate in two different modes. First, it can function as a standalone soft phone, which turns your computer into a telephone when using a headset. Secondly, it functions as a companion application to an actual desktop telephone placed next to the computer where Glowcom is running. This mode allows Glowcom to provide controls and enhancements for the desktop telephone. In either mode, an individual telephone extension is required as part of the Host My Calls service. Most features and functionality covered in this tutorial operate the same or similar in either mode. Beyond the two modes, Glowcom is also offered in several versions, a free version with reduced features and functionality and other pay versions for different user purposes. The most common version used is the business version. It will be the version used in this tutorial. Let's get started. With the Glowcom application launched, you can log in by selecting a profile and clicking the login button. Now the main module is shown. Draw your attention to the top portion of the module, which is called the Toolbar. In the upper left-hand side of the Toolbar, we see the user image that was selected for the user's avatar. The user image is displayed on the user's profile seen by other Glowcom users. Just to the right of the user image is the username, as assigned in the Host My Calls service. If you hover over the username, the assigned Host My Calls extension number is also displayed. The username is shown in chat conversations as well as the Glowcom directory. Below the username is the missed call status message. It will show in red the number of missed calls the user has received. By clicking the message, it allows a shortcut to display the missed calls tab from the recent directory that is shown in the lower area of the main module. Clicking the Glowcom directory icon in the lower left area of the main module returns the dynamic display of Glowcom users. Shown just below the missed call status message, you find the user status icon and status message. With a left click, a menu will be opened. The user will be able to choose their availability status, online, busy, do not disturb, away, and or offline. One of the top features of Glowcom is found in My Settings and Status. It's the Personal Information module where the user can set a personal message to be shown to other Glowcom users in their dynamic Glowcom directory. For example, the user could enter at lunch back at 2. Now the user setting the message can see it here and is also seen by other Glowcom users next to their listing within the dynamic Glowcom directory. Here's an example as another user having the message in a meeting. And finally, in the personal information module, the user can select and upload a profile image to define what avatar is displayed for their user image. Click the Choose button and locate the desired image to add. This concludes this segment of using Glowcom with Host My Calls.